Right, we're going to be starting the Dark Knight quest line at some point in this stream. As soon as we cross the MSQ, we will be continuing with the MSQ. But first and foremost, most importantly, we have to do Top Gun alongside someone dressed like Ultraman. How dare you cheer me? Die, damn it! Focus. Focus. Hell with you, man. I can do this. I can do this. One, two, three, four. Ah, what mother ah, you piece of shit! It looked orange, damn it. It looked orange. No, huh? What? Who? Ha? Huh? Who? He? This does not bode well for potato kind today. Tisk, tisk, pathetic. I've been clearly very hard at work training my dragoon in all the arts of Manderville Golden Saucer. 82,000? So far from the regalia, I have reglammed myself. As I said, I added some pearl white dye to my coat. I really do love this coat, though. Uh, it, I love the flaps, how it makes it look like wings. I did uh, dye this dragoon helmet as well, the one that I got at, I think, dragoon level 60. Check out my weapon. Check this out. Oh shit. Look at that glowy energy. Yeah, yours is a, yours is a nightlight. Yours is a nightlight compared to mine. Look at mine. Mine glows all over. And people have noticed during some of my duty raids, people are saying like, oh God, how did you get your weapon to glow like that? Is it giving you some kind of superpower? No, it doesn't really. Now, the reason why I'm very curious about choosing a Dark Knight over a Paladin is because I play as a Paladin. It's a fairly basic tank class, but the Paladin, I'm sorry, the Dark Knight seems like it is more of a, a DPS type of tank. Because I want to get a taste, a true, more mature taste of Ishikawa's writing. Press the map for details? Yes. Yes. Show me the dark side. Are you mad? We're standing outside the bloody tribunal. Fine, fine, but keep it quiet and listen well because I'm only going to say this once. Now, if this is anything like Final Fantasy IV, the dark and the paladin are essentially two sides of the same coin. So as I was saying, the heretic was fighting like a man possessed. Even after he took several wounds, he showed no sign of pain, though there was no mistaking the blood. Good riddance, I say. Man was not meant to wield such arts. Yet I wonder, was he truly one of those... those... What matters not, I heard the temple knights talking of dumping his corpse into the broom. Uh, by sunrise, it'll be stripped bare and tossed over the walls. I am so curious how the class actually works. Punctualist temple knight? Are we going to be talking to, like, dark spirits and stuff? Ooh, just one little taste of the dark side. Drinking the Kool-Aid. That's all it takes. One little taste. Huh? I like the look on my face. Uh-oh. Is this it? Is this all that awaits? No, no more. Enough. Open your eyes. Look, do you see now? Do you see? Estinian! Estinian! Huh? Darth Vader? Father? I've been waiting for you to open your eyes. Literally and figuratively, huh? You alright? You were moaning in your sleep and sweating buckets besides me? Me? Name's Frey, by the way. Not any relation to the Frey from Forspoken, right? And no, I'm not a heretic. Try convincing a Temple Knight drunk on authority of that, eh? Shame the pompous arse got the better of me. But how about you? You touched it, yes? That couldn't have felt good. But it did. It felt quite good. A voice, eh? And a rather distressed one besides? Please, someone, anyone... Not so fast. We need to talk about what's happening to you, what's growing within you, before you get carried away. In past Final Fantasy games, Dark Knights, they weren't necessarily evil, although they could be. They just channeled a dark part of themselves, which usually meant sacrificing a part of your life force for power. Huh? Do it without proper training, however, and it, well, might hurt. I knew you're still worried about the screaming woman, so I'll keep this brief. 
We Dark Knights don't care one whit for prestige or pedigree. We are free to follow our hearts, to defend the weak and punish the guilty as we see fit. Right, so a Dark Knight versus a Paladin is like the difference between a Samurai and a Rodin. I am a crappy looking Dark Knight. Let me see how I look. Oh, oh, oh. That is Cecil Harvey's sword stance right there. And this does what? Holy hell! I can use it whenever I want. No MP, no... That is a very fast. Damn, I love the way I carry my sword. If I were not a Dragoon for Heaven's Ward, I'd probably be a Dark Knight. They might spare the girl, you know. Leave her f with a few scars and a lifelong lesson. But we could beat every last one of them to within an ilm of their lives and rescue the girl. You'd like that, wouldn't you? We're Tony Montana! We are the Dark Justice. Delita would have made by Spirit an excellent Dark Knight. Because basically what he's saying is that honorable actions don't always lead to honorable conclusions. And honorable conclusions require that we sometimes bloody our fingers and dirty our hands. Is basically what the Dark Knight is saying. So little by little, you are getting a taste, a taste of the dark side. And you'll undergo a bunch of very logical steps, but in the end, you'll end up in a position where you never imagined yourself to ever be in. Like, how is it that you went from here all the way to like slaying innocent people? But when you look at the steps individually that you've taken, it'll all make perfect sense. Interesting. This is the morally ambiguous class, I can tell. Okay. Which way are we going? Which way we be going? That is hella cool, man. I love that. So we are gonna meet out justice by any means necessary. We are Batman, whereas the Paladin is Superman. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. AoE, baby, AoE, oh shit! I cannot wait to pimp out the glamours on a dark night. What the? Do you see Asinian, the flames beckon? Immerse yourself in the flames and ignite the darkness within. Oh, good, sweet God, it took out some of my life. Just so, as it burns, what, what? But drink not too deep, lest the flames consume you. Uh-oh, darkness threatens to swallow your very being. Anyway, Maul, give me, give me the aggro, give me the aggro. I think I got the aggro already though. Okay, you first. I'll pop my CDs. Oh, stone, 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 interrupted. Hell yeah. Let's not taste the Kool-Aid too much. Lest the Kool-Aid taste you. Swallow you. I mean, Paladin, you basically have a one button in vulnerability. So I'm curious how the Dark Knight's going to mitigate like the true damage, you know? Uh, I need some of this. Give me some of that sweet, sweet Kool-Aid, baby. Yeah, there we go. I'm not only gonna kill him, but I'm going to kill his wife, his friends, and burn his goddamn house down? Dude! This is justice, most medieval. Circumstances being what they are, it might be best if we parted ways for a while. Think of it as an opportunity to hone your skills in my absence. But don't worry, we will meet again. When the time is right, I'll be waiting where we first met. Dude, this guy is so much like a ghost. I'm not even sure if this guy's real. Everyone else is like, oh, meet with me. I will teach you. Ha 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 ha. This guy's more like, yeah, when you need me again, I'll show up. Like in the dark corners of the alley when no one's watching in your deepest, darkest nightmares. Is this something similar to The Blood of the Dragon? Where the countdown timer, or is this similar to, what's a timer? So it's not a, a gauge that fills up with auto attacks like it was with the Paladin. There you are, but I'm not leveled up yet, that's right. I'm back at level 30, we gotta do some duties. Oh, tank stance, tank stance. I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. Now does the Dark Knight have any kind of healing ability? The same way that Paladin has clemency. The Cold Throne, what the hell was this? Masters must... Giga is great. Now, there's an ugly dude with a big mallet. What's the strat for this guy? Wait for the person to finish watching the cutscene first though. Dude, the animation is so, so lumbering for the Dark Knight because it's a, a giant sword, two-handed sword. Uh oh, I got my ability. Ah, nice. No, oh, come on, come on. Attack me, attack me. Leave my friends alone. Damage buff timer. Oh, it just provides a damage buff. Interesting. Are there certain attacks that will increase the damage buff, though? 
or increase the timer. That's it. That's basically it. And certain attacks, I'm guessing, can only be used under that darkness influence, right? That darkness wave attack is very similar, actually, to... Yeah, that's very similar to kind of like Cecil Harvey's kind of dark wave attack when he's a dark knight. I look forward to seeing more, learning more about what kind of optimizations the Dark Knight has. Yeah, it's basically switching between like Rage of Halone and, um, what is it, like Royal Authority? Or Goring Blade and Rage of- Oh, no, 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 Yeah, this area, this area is very easy to aggro a bunch of unnecessary enemies. The gauge is called the Dark Sign, it's just a simple damage buff. Okay, simple enough to understand. And then later, there are abilities that can only be activated with, with that damage buff. Or that damage buff is a... What the... I'm loving the Dark Knight class aesthetically, I have to say. Well, that's kind of true overall, isn't it? That skill is actually what matters more, as opposed to who has the highest gear. Ow, ow, ow. Guys, guys, come on, give me a break. Toxic Vomit. Ah, shit. Uh, over here, over here, over here. Music is epic as fuck, though. No, 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 not here, not here. You piece of shit. Come on, over here, over here. Here we go. Dude, are you gonna spit poison everywhere? All right, we are one level away from being able to do the next one, right? I get to choose? What became of the old woman and her granddaughter? Where, why were you detained by the Inquisition? What was the voice I heard? <gasps> ah, yes, the voice. The one you heard when you were first touched by the crystal. An excellent question, but a difficult one to answer. Some say it is a beacon guiding the Dark Knight to his true calling. The Dark Echo, maybe? Whose is it, you ask? Only you can discover that, for each knight must hearken to a different voice. As you grow more accustomed to drawing upon your dark side, you will come to hear it more clearly. Compu communion will hasten this process, but we dare not conduct the rites here under the watchful eye of the Holy See. Everything is based off of so much pain and torture and misery. <laughs> I love it. You seek the darkness within? Yes, can't you tell by my clothes? I seek the darkness within, damn it! I mean, the, the white and purple and gold that just bring out that aura of I'm looking for the darkness within. This is the BDSM class, basically, isn't it? It's the BDSM class. To meet out justice, to protect the weak from the strong and so forth, you yourself must be strong. Strength is pain, strength is suffering, strength is sacrifice. Basically, jump into the Iron Maiden and you'll be the strongest guy in the entire world. This is basically the Batman training that Bruce Wayne had to go through with Ra's al Ghul. Close your eyes and hold out your hand towards me. Breathe deep through your nose, let the air fill your lungs, then let it pass from your lips slower, slower. Listen to my voice, listen to your heartbeat, listen for the other. Dude, you're freaking me out, man. And I love every moment of it. I'm attuning him, one foot in front of the other over and over again to the ends of the world and back again. And if time has no end, still forward and onward over and over again. Did you just slip me some LSD or something? So what did you hear? I heard you, interesting but not terribly informative. That voice was him, right? But do not lose heart that you were able to hear it once more is progress enough. I believe you will come to understand its words and its will in due time. Oh, if this is mirroring Final Fantasy IV, that voice is probably your voice. It's the dark side of your voice. There's a light side of you and there's a dark side of you. And the dark side is calling you. Yet no good deed goes unpunished, does it? He has to go back to punishment. Always the punishment, always the pain, always the suffering, always the anguish. I knew a man once, wanted to be a hero, do great things, and so he did. The songs always end there, but life doesn't, does it? Oh. Damn. You know, I just noticed that this is the one job class quest where you get so much characterization of your mentor. The other ones were quite like, eh, whatever. You know, but this one, there's such a, a depth and a backstory to this guy. Maybe because it's built on pain and suffering. I don't know. Just the highlight of Ishikawa's style of writing. She has a way of, of drawing from her personal life, it seems to me. Like the things that are personally matterful, m matterful, meaningful to her, and things that personally matter to her, and then infuse it into the actual characterization, plots, events, and characters in the story. 
That's... That's pretty remarkable, actually. That's crazy. I never really realized that until now. But your mentors, all of your mentors, I thought they were just gameplay devices. Like Ewain and Albert. Albert with the Dragoon quest. Albert was actually kind of okay in his relationship with Estinian, the father-surrogate-son relationship. The Paladin quest, I have to say, have so far been very disappointing. I will grind off camera to get the level 50, just a level 50, and then we will do the Dark Knight quest on stream so we can experience a story. And then after that, we will continue with the MSQ of Heaven's Ward with Lady Iceheart, Estinian, and Alpha No. Continue along, and then perhaps some point later in Heaven's Ward, we will return to the Dark Knight quest once the we've unlocked more dungeons in Heaven's Ward to make the leveling up a lot faster. I have to say that I enjoy the Dark Knight class among the tanks, or what I've seen of the tanks so far, more than the Paladin. The Paladin is fairly straightforward and much more straightforward mechanics. It's a one button press to do invulnerability, whereas Dark Knight, it seems like you have to time it just right, allow yourself to die, and then get the healer to heal you up to full health by 10 seconds. Uh, very interesting. Very interesting, not just gameplay, but also interesting lore-wise and story-wise. The mentor for the Dark Knight quest is, I think, the only one I actually cared about. And everything that's happened in the Dark Knight quest, I've completely been engrossed. I care about the quest. I think the quest is super cool. I'm super intrigued by this mentor. Who are they? Why did they die? How did they die? And why did they come back to life? What, specifically just to give me? To, to pass over the dark curse over to me? To pass over the next generation of anguish and pain and suffering and despair? Is that its purpose? The Specifically the OGCDs of the Dark Knight quest and the mechanics of the Dark Knight. Because historically, Dark Knights have been... They're not necessarily evil, but they've always had this kind of... Make a deal with the devil in exchange for power or knowledge or something like that. So they are the Ronin class. They are the Sellsword class. They're not necessarily evil people, just like how Batman is not necessarily an evil person. They just operate operate outside the jurisdiction of what is the right and truthful path. 